Is there Chad? Where's the net? Where is the fucking net? That's what I want. Oh, sweet. We got ourselves a keeper. A gizzard shell. We're doing a catch and cook. Mm-mm-mm. Look at this nice keeper, gizzard shad. So today when we went fishing, we didn't catch a whole lot, but we did catch a new species. So I'm gonna try cooking this. This is a gizzard shad. I'm just gonna try cooking up a shiner with it too. And I think I'm just gonna fry it in butter. So to clean this, I'm just gonna lightly scale it. The knife. It scales pretty easy. Then I have the shiner, which I'm going to do the same thing to. This is already into my half of its tail. Should I leave the heads on them or not? Then I'm going to gut them. I don't know how they the shiner is so small. Shiner doesn't have much of guts in it. Oh, it has a bladder. So there, I go to the shiner, and now we're going to gut the gizzard chad. And I'm going to go rinse these off after I, until I get some butter brown. heating up in the pan. Now I'm gonna go rinse these out. So right here, I'm just gonna rinse them out. Now that our butter is warm, we're just going to fry these in butter. And I think for seasoning, we're just going to put some salt and some garlic powder. And some pepper on the wonderful gourmet gizzard shad. My buddy Lubaka video already did the catch and cook to them, but I'm trying to do a catch and cook of everything that's legal to keep in Wisconsin. So, here's another fish. And I actually wanted to catch a golden shiner, but I'm just going to cook one up. So if I catch one, I'll still have to do a catch and cook on it. It's slowly cooking. Here's our gizzard chad and minnow. Ooh, that's looking real well done. I'm going to let this other side get a little browner, and then we'll be ready to eat. Mmm. I think the gizzard chad is done. I just turned it off. I'm going to let it cool down for a minute, and then I'm going to eat it. We'll have some gizzard chad. Mmm, mmm, good. So, we better start out with the fat head. Mmm. It just tastes like burnt like crispy scales. The scales almost taste like breading. The skin does. This shine is actually not too bad. Mmm. The head's a little fishy. 
And now it's time to try the gizzard shad. This actually has a carcass, so I think I have to just pick meat. Here's what it looks like. It's not too bad. So the gizzard chiari. George, what do you think of it? He's approaching it. It passes the Georgie test. That's good. It's good that a cat likes it. Looks like it's not too bad. And a cat approves of it. So that's good. So I'll have some more catch and cooks coming your way. Just as I catch fish, I probably should do a crappie one too in a walleye one because I've caught some of them and kept them. I just haven't made a video. I'll do that too. So if you like these catch and cooks, which I know some of you do, you can comment on it. And I'll do some more of them.